what's good everybody it is ace here back with another props video yesterday we took the day off and i decided to run a giveaway so we will be doing that giveaway on the video live on the video and after i give out a few picks but yeah remember guys i don't give out all my picks on youtube i give out some of my picks all the picks that i have every single day are posted in my discord so if you guys want to join the discord the link should be in the bio if not it's in my twitter bio at real ace picks on twitter the discord link is right there but yeah it, right now i'm doing 15 dollars a month and 150 dollars lifetime so a few of you guys have joined lifetime immediately from youtube like five people which is crazy because you guys have seen like a one week of videos and you guys trust me so I, I really appreciate you guys for that and i've had probably 15 people in total join lifetime or just the one month 15 dollars they want to test it out which is super cool too so i appreciate you guys y'all have been going crazy too on the youtube videos right now we have 500 subscribers already so um, i appreciate you guys a lot thank you i'll probably be doing a giveaway like once a month for you guys <clears throat> or when we hit like subscriber milestones when we hit a thousand subscribers i'll probably do another giveaway stuff like that but yeah keep showing love like the video comment down below anything you could anything you want to comment you could comment down below it just helps the algorithm push my video out stuff like that so i appreciate you guys but let's get into these props so the first prop I have for you guys, prize picks, is going to be DeJounte Murray over 15.5 first half PRA. So let's look at that. So let's look at his game logs without DeAndre Hunter because he's been out and he continues to be out. DeJounte has gone over in his last seven out of eight games without DeAndre Hunter. And specifically on the road, DeJounte has gone over in all five out of five road games without Hunter. So that's great. And also, this is a buy low spot for DeJounte. His last game, he had 11 first half PRA against the Thunder. I feel like this prop could definitely be bumped to like 16 or 16.5. So that's why I'm calling it a buy low spot because this is pretty low considering his stats without DeAndre Hunter. So yeah, buy low spot. Love that. And he has had um, 22 second half PRA in his in back to back games. So if you guys want to take full game because of that, you can. But if we look, he's averaged even with those two pop off second halves, he's averaged in his games without Hunter this season. He's averaged 15 second half PRA. And last game we talked about he had only 11 first half PRA, but he's still averaging 17 and a half first half PRA without Hunter this season. So he's he's produced way more in the first half uh, season wise without Hunter. Those last two games, they could be flukes. They might not be, but I'm just looking at the data, and the data says he's been way more consistent with his first half. So I'm just taking first half strictly. Let's look at the matchup, though. In the last 30 days, the Pacers are allowing the second most points per game to shooting guards out of the whole uh, out of every team in the league. So second best matchup in the last 30 days for DeJounte. And also, the Hawks have played the Pacers earlier this season. This was with DeAndre Hunter. And DeJounte Murray still had 19 first half PRA with with Hunter. So this game is without Hunter and he's produced way more without Hunter this season. So I'm liking that. Also, the matchup on defense for him is going to be Bruce Brown, who's been an absolute cone in December. Um, if we look here, restricted area. If we look at actually, let's look at DeJounte Murray's charts real quick. DeJounte Murray first half shot chart this season. <clears throat> He's been pretty good, pretty decent in the restricted area, below league average, so not that good. He's been pretty average in the paint, really good in the mid-range, really, um, yeah, above average in the mid-range, solid in the corners, although he doesn't get that much volume in the corners, and then really good at above the break threes. So that's like amazing, way above average. So let's look at Bruce Brown's numbers in those zones. So Bruce Brown is allowing the highest field goal percentage in the restricted area uh, area out of all Pacers starters. He's allowing 69.2 field goal percentage in the restricted area. So that's very advantageous for DeJounte. He's also allowing a 57% field goal percentage in the paint, which is also the highest out of all Pacers starters. Jalen Smith just recently became a starter, so I guess he's the, allowing the highest as a, as a starter, but still, 57 is a very high field goal percentage. In the mid-range, Bruce Brown is allowing the highest out of all Pacers starters, again, at 46% mid-range. Corner three, Bruce Brown, he's allowing a 43%, although DeJounte doesn't take many corner threes, so I'm not really counting on that. But above the break threes, where we've seen DeJounte Murray is 
very much above league average bruce brown's allowing almost a 40 percent three-point percentage above the break against above the break threes which is the highest out of all pacer starters again so he's just the most advantage advantageous matchup jesus to go against on the pacers so great matchup for dejounte and he's been killing this prop without deandre hunter and also if we look at um nba team ranking stats <clears throat> we look at team stats and opponent scoring defense opponent first half points per game as this is a first half prop the pacers are allowing the second most first half points per game in their last three games in the whole league at 64 points so just a very good matchup team wise a very good matchup defensive wise against bruce brown he's been killing this prop without deandre hunter over in all five out of five road games without Hunter. And also I think this is gonna get bumped too because the hit rate's great, the matchup's great and all that that we talked about. So I'm liking that prop. Another prize picks prop that I have for you guys is going to be Jason Tatum over 19 and a half first half PRA. So let's look at that. If we look at the first half, 19 and a half, he's gone over this in 65% of his games this season. And if we look at home games specifically, he's gone over this in 80% of home games this season, which is crazy. Averaging almost 23 first half PRA, which is like three higher than what, what is needed for his prop. So I think this is gonna get bumped too. This will probably get bumped to like 21.5 probably. And it's against the Jazz, so that's the reason I'm going first half here. Um, currently, this has a 14-point spread, and this should be a blowout as it's the Jazz against the Celtics. So first half is way safer because this could be a blowout by the third quarter, and then he just sits out the fourth. So that's why I'm going um, first half. And let's look at the matchup. So last 30 days, the Jazz are allowing the seventh most points per game to power forwards, and they're also, <clears throat> also allowing the eighth most assists per game to power forwards. They haven't allowed many rebounds to power forwards, but Tatum, you know, he's still going to get his rebounds. And that's not the bulk portion of the um, prop. The bulk portion is going to be his points. But I do like PRA more than points. The hit rate is better by, by a huge margin. So I'm liking first half PRA more than points. Also, if we look at Jason Tatum's first half shot chart this season, we can see where he is elite on the court. He is elite in restrict in the restricted area he's shooting 5.8 percent higher than league average he doesn't really shoot in the mid-range or the paint that often at all or the corner and he's also shooting a ton above the break threes and he's above average there very bad in this spot i guess but above average at the top of the key and above average here so he's getting a, all, almost all of his points from either the free throw line restricted area or above the break threes so let's look at that <clears throat> let's look at that matchup for him for the Jazz in their last five games, since they've had a ton of injuries in the month of December, their last five games, they've been pretty healthy. So let's look at that. He should be matched up with Laurie Markkinen, who's the power forward for the Jazz. Laurie Markkinen is allowing the third highest field goal percentage against restricted area shots in, in his last five games. So that's where Tatum gets a bulk of his points. He's already above league average there. And Laurie Markkinen is a very advantageous matchup for him. So I'm loving that. And also at above the break threes, Laurie Markkinen is allowing the fourth highest field goal percentage from above the break threes in his last five games, almost 41%. So Tatum, like literally the matchup is amazing for him against Laurie Markkinen and against the Jazz in the first half specifically, because this could be a blowout. And yeah, so good matchup, good hit rate at home specifically. So I'm liking that prop a lot too. So those are two prize picks props I have for you guys. I also have two chalkboard props that I'll get into, but first I wanna get into the giveaway. So let's let's spin the wheel. I have everybody's name that typed in, typed out giveaway in a comment before 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So we'll have three winners. So our first winner is going to be JDWL. Congratulations, JDWL. So I'm just gonna write this down, JDWL. Congratulations, just leave, if you are chosen as a winner, just comment down below what your Discord username is and I will reach out to you guys. I'll go DM you and I'll add you in. So JDWL, make sure you comment down below what your Discord username is and I got you, bro. Two more winners. <clears throat> Our second winner is going to be 
Quincy Anfield 5528. Quincy Anfield 5528. Congratulations. Make sure you comment down below what your Discord username is so I can add you. And one more winner for today. Our third and last winner is going to be. That's a close one. Chanty Shark. Chanty Shark. Congratulations, bro. So these are the three winners, JDWL, Quincy Anfield, 5528, and Shanty Shark. Make sure you guys reach out in the comments what your Discord username is, and I will get you guys added. Also, we're going to be running another giveaway when we hit 1,000 subscribers, so don't worry. Uh, when we get there, I got you guys with another. We'll probably do like five, five one-month memberships or something like that, something crazy. But um, yeah, let's get into those two chalkboard props. So <clears throat> we are, I checked the channel, and our hit rate we are nine and three on chalkboard guys nine and three on our chalkboard youtube props in the discord we like we had a day where we went 20 and one and we went 13 and 0 on chalkboard props like a week ago literally 13 and 0 swept every single chalkboard outline we did so remember guys if you guys are not on chalkboard 100 percent match depo uh 100 deposit match up to 100 dollars. so if you deposit 50 dollars, they're going to give you 50 dollars in promo funds so you'll have 100 dollars. You, you deposit 20 bucks you get your 20 bucks obviously and then you also get 20 bucks in promo funds so you have 40 bucks but yeah you got to use promo code ace you use promo code ace you get that 100 percent deposit match up to 100 dollars. also you get two free months of premium half of the people in my premium joined through this method by just depositing some people just deposited 10 bucks and they got two months of premium for free or for ten dollars so yeah deposit whatever you want in a chalkboard use my code and you'll get 10 free months of, or sorry two free months of premium just reach out to me show me proof that you use my code and i got you guys but yeah let's get into these two chalkboard props we're uh, our first one is going to be halliburton over 11 and a half assists so if we look at that hit rate real quick Remember, chalkboard has alt lines, so you can change the lines however you want, which is super, super clutch. You guys get a lesser payout, but I mean, it's it's way better than taking a hook on prize picks or another app. So, you know, just playing it safe, building the bankroll, not 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 doing anything stupid. Um, but yeah, so he's over. Let's check home logs when he get plays 30 plus minutes because it should be a competitive game. I don't see a blowout happening. He's over in nine out of 13 home games this season with 30 plus minutes, and he's over in his last four out of five home games when getting that 30, 30 plus minute mark. Also, he's playing the Atlanta Hawks. First off, actually, first off, let me tell you guys about the total over under. So if nobody knows what a total over under is, basically it, that number, like this right here, 239 total, the the Vegas, the sports books, they set a line at how many points they think are going to be scored in any given game. So Jazz and Celtics, the line is set at 239 with even odds. So you can go over or under, but they're expecting that the game to be have that many total points. So that's like 100, or I don't want to do math, but that's like 117 to 121. And that would be like 238 that would be under so yeah but the over under for this game is 263 if you look at every other game you'll see like a bunch of 220s a rare 241 a bunch of 220s 218 and then 263 so vegas is expecting literally a ton of scoring to be scored in this game that's that's insane 263 is crazy high and the last time these two teams played the last time these two teams played was on november 21st they had 100, 157 to 152. That is 309 points total. So, I mean, I don't blame them for putting the over under at 263. But yeah, if there are going to be a ton of points scored, a ton of those points from the Pacers that aren't from Halliburton are going to be Halliburton assists. We know how good he is at finding the open teammate and just getting a ton of assists. He can rack them up very, very quickly. So I love betting on Halliburton assists this season. That's been one of my, that's probably been my favorite prop the whole season, actually. He's catched me so many times, especially on chalkboard, taking an alt line or laddering it, whatever you want to do. He's just been great with this prop. <clears throat> But yeah, the Hawks are second in pace since Jalen Johnson has returned to the lineup. So they play very fast pace, very, you know, uh, run and gun sort of. But the Pacers also play very high pace too, hence the name, I guess. But both teams have played very high pace this season when healthy. 
and this is just going to be an insanely fast paced game just a ton of shots a ton of shots and hawks are known for blitzing point guards so they like to they like to let anybody else but the point guard beat them you know they double team point guards on pick and roll stuff like that that's why if you look at points for point guards the hawks are not allowing many points to point guards they're like bottom bottom 10 15 in the last 30 days but uh, assist wise the Hawks are allowing the ninth most assists per game in the last 30 days which you know correlates to that point guards are being blitzed they're gonna have to pass the ball a ton and we know how Burton's game he has no problem doing that he has no problem dishing dishing the rock out and when he gets doubled he just can rack those assists up like I said before and last time he played the Hawks he had 16 assists so I mean you know the blitzing the blitzing that they do against him it makes sense and he's just gonna get a ton of assists on him so high pace matchup if we look at Halliburton's potential assists in the last five games he is where are the Indiana Pacers Indiana Pacers last five games he is averaging almost 25 potential assists per game 85 84 passes made per game and 15 actual assists per game so absolutely amazing volume there and yeah the over under is 263 points like we have to take advantage of that um, a lot of those points are going to be coming from Halliburton assists if he does get blitzed off pick and rolls and stuff like that. So I'm liking that a lot. And then our fourth and last chalk or our last prop for today on YouTube is going to be Emmanuel quickly over two and a half or one and a half threes his alt line on chalkboard. So <clears throat> sadly there isn't like a um a new team filter because his last two games he's been traded to the toronto raptors so new team new team new start so i'm only looking at his last two games his last two games he's gone over this line in both games for the raptors and he's coming off a of five three pointers made game against the grizzlies he's still getting situated the team but five threes against the grizzlies he's he has a ton of momentum right now coming off that game and having that chip on his shoulder from being traded so i'm loving his spot for him and in those two games in those two games that he's joined the Raptors, if we look specifically, he is averaging a 54% three-point percentage, which is absolutely insane. Obviously, that number is not uh, sustain sustainable. Jeez, that number is not sustainable, but he's averaging six and a half three-pointers attempted per game in those two games. So since we're taking his alt line, we only need two threes. So if he averages or if he shoots, you know, six threes, we only need him to shoot. 66 or 30 we only need him to shoot 33 percent from three for us to cash with this alt line so um yeah but that number is super high 54 percent and also if we look at his usage since joining the raptors he's gotten 25.4 percent usage which is way more than he got in new york and if we look specifically at point guards with 25 plus usage and 30 plus minutes game logs versus the kings this season which emmanuel quickly he plays the kings all nine of those point guards have made two or more threes and eight out of nine of them made three or more the only one that made two was Kyrie. but well he wasn't even a point guard that game because luca played so all eight out of eight point guards have gotten three plus threes against the Kings. so we only need him to get two so that's amazing more specifically though for Emmanuel quickly he should be covered by um De'Aaron Fox for the Sacramento Kings so let's look at that matchup also if we look Emmanuel quickly shot chart since joining the Raptors If we look at his shot chart, you know, he's been pretty bad in the restricted area, decent in the paint, but we're looking, we're taking a threes prop. So he's been great at his threes. He only shot one corner three. So we're looking at those above the break threes. Remember above the break threes or any three that isn't from the corner. So he's been shooting a ton of those above the break threes and he's shooting them very, very well. Seven for 12 actually, because that one in 13 is from the corner, but seven for 12 specifically from above the break threes. So if we look at the team matchup, <clears throat> The Sacramento Kings last five games they are allowing the fifth highest three-point percentage against above the break threes at 40% and if we look specifically at the De'Aaron Fox matchup in his last five games he's allowing a 39% three-point percentage against above the break threes and in his last 10 games he's allowing a 40% three-point percentage against above above the break threes so just a great matchup team wise great matchup 
uh, one on one rise against Fox and also every point guard that's gotten 25 plus usage in 30 plus minutes has gone over this line and I expect quickly to hit that 30 minute mark because he had 33 minutes last game and also this game has a five point spread so it should be super down to the wire it should be a competitive game but yeah so prize picks Tatum over 19 and a half first half PRA DeJounte Murray over 15 and a half first half PRA and then on chalkboard we have Halliburton over 11 and a half assists and Emmanuel quickly over one and a half threes and remember guys if you won the giveaway JDWL Quincy and field 5528 in shanty chart comment down below your discord username so I could reach out to you and get you in the premium for 30 days and also if you guys want to join the premium the discord link should be in the bio and if, and if it isn't I have it in my Twitter bio at Real Ace Picks on Twitter. If you guys want to join, you guys will not regret it. Fifth, you get 30 days for $15. You get every single prop every single day. But yeah, thank you guys for showing love. I appreciate y'all. Good luck today in your bets. Comment down below if you're going to be tailing any of these picks and which picks you're going to be tailing if you are. But yeah, deuces.